I'm just gonna go like this. Sorry, I'm making Chris is doing his Zoom exercise right now. Look at him go. Yo, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to Pick Me Up, Scotty. I'm Scotty. Hi. You're watching Beamus, where I review alternative bricks for your chance to get sets like this. And if you don't like it, you can suck my bricks in any way you like. The sharpest brick, better for your throat. Anyway, what's going on, you guys? New set is here. Decided to come in the office. Chris decided to come in and help me out today. What's up, Chris? Hello, everyone. Yeah, we're gonna try and punch out more videos faster for you. So let's dive into this. This is from Mork. They are back, or ex Mork, and they are finally agreeing to work with designers. Thank you so much for doing that. I appreciate it. I'm sure the designers appreciate it. This one that you're looking at is brand new, and it's from a designer named Yellowbox777. Yes, he's a famous Korean designer. Go check out his Instagram page. I'll put a link in the description. His builds are absolutely amazing, and it was really sad because a few years ago, there was a couple sets that I bought. I was like, yo, these are so cool, man. And I found out that they were stolen designs and they were stolen from him and he got really pissed. Now they worked things out and they came out with this. And we really want to know the Chanel shop and the Sanctum Sanctorum from Panos was actually by him and the Asylum too, the hospital one. Those are actually really good. I'm really sorry, but those ones are so good. How about this one? Let's look at this right now. So what we are looking at today is from Mark, the Science Museum, 10206. 3,784 pieces. This thing is very different, very tall. And it really reminds me of that classic Zingbao Maritime Museum, which is back by the way, that's available on my store. And this one as well, on freakmeupscotty.com. I know many of you send me messages saying, what's your store name? Haven't I gotten that through to you yet? It's Brick Me Up Scotty. It's so easy to find. But you can also find all these sets anywhere else that you like. You might have your own favorite store. I'm just here to review it for you guys because I love to review this kind of stuff for you. But yeah, this thing is a monster and it is not for everyone. All right, I'll be straight up. I'm like, ah, uh, uh, it's kind of crazy. It's kind of all over the place. It is a museum. It's two museums. It's a space and dinosaur museum. I kind of wish it just stuck to one theme. I would have been happy if it was just either space or either dinosaurs, but Having them both in here, I guess it's the best of both worlds. It also kind of reminds me of the now discontinued and defunct Lepin Dino Museum. I had that one too. That one's in pieces already. That one was massive. This kind of has a throwback, throwback vibe to me, like an older school feeling. I do like his other ones a lot better. Their designs and the way they look. Oh, doorbell. Who is that? Delivery? Oh, bring that in here. Let's see what we got. He can't open it. It's so big. It's massive. Do we have this thing? Is it brand new? Here we go. What is this? Oh, oh, just, just in time. This is what? Oh, this is bigger than I thought. Okay. This is fun. This is happening right now live on camera. This one is from a brand new brick brand that a company has asked me if I can unbox and do it for you guys. So guess what? I will. I'm going to take this thing home. Whatever it is, this is big, man. I thought it was gonna be a small set. Yeah. So I showed this to Chris earlier. There, let's pull this out. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh look at that. Very nice. Wow, it's like a floating tempo. I've never heard this brand before. They're called People's Cultural Creative. Better than PP. Oh, I didn't tell you that. There's another brand that is actually doing some of the designers that we know. I think they're authorized sets from a brand called PP. No joke, man, PP. Anyway, this one sounds better than PP. The box is really nice though. Yeah, very nice. Oh, let me just open it while we're here. Might as well. Oh, this is big, man. Holy smokes. Oh, they are using Go Bricks. Go Bricks, Go Bricks. No lights, thank goodness. I guess I gotta go home and build this today. Here's the book, whatever it is. I'm more interested in this thing than this thing right now. Couple of stickers there. They look like decals, man. At least not a lot of stickers. Smells brand new. And this is what the final product would look like. 
Would any of you be, be would any of you be interested to buy this? Let's see if I can get this on the store. If you're interested in it, please support us. You can buy this from me. I'm gonna help this brand out. So thank you to this brand. Again, they are called People's Cultural Creative. Thank you, People's Cultural Creative, for sending me the set. All right, back to this thing. I totally forgot what I was talking about. But before we dive into this, let me just pull out the manual for you. Here's the book, The Science Museum. It comes with a light brick. The light brick is installed last, and it's just a plain light brick, man. Just drop it through the floors and whatever. Uh, Mark is getting a little bit... Uh, the bricks are okay. I didn't have too much of an issue. A lot of you guys might just because you're not used to a third-party brand. I was totally fine with the bricks, man. And the set was not perfect. But before we dive into that, let me just show you here. I do like this, how it has a little interview with the designer. Yellow box 777. Bung Young Park. You live in Korea? BTS, yo. I'm going to be ordering the BTS Lego set. Yes, I am. I am secretly a BTS fan. Don't you guys remember me doing that? Permission to dance? Dance? Yeah, don't watch that, man. Yellow box 777, I love your other sets so much. This one is not quite perfect yet. I think it's a little bit funky. The way, I don't know if it's a design or it wasn't perfected or maybe a little bit rushed to get out there in the market. Parts here and there are flimsy. And if I show you real fast here, because this might be off when I'm doing the close-ups, this piece didn't quite fit on or line up correctly. Yeah, it will flush in there, but it will push the other bricks up. That wasn't too well thought out. I think what you can do is actually just remove this, flip it around, and then just, just make it one stud there to hold it, to make it look more flat. It was like that for both sides. I thought it was just me, or I did it, or I rushed when I did the build, but no, it's like that. I can actually fit this thing in, but it applies pressure and it pops up to the second floor, so I just kind of left it like that. So anyway, the windows also are very flimsy, man. Like all these, you don't want to push in these panels, and the side walls do not have a lot of structure to it. Like it's not very secure. So it's, a li uh, so it's a minor, minor nitpicking thing. It's not totally perfect. And you'll see all of that when I start taking this thing apart. Other than that, it's still like a really insane build, man. It's totally different, which is great. So we're all into that whole maritime museum that we've seen before. You'll probably like this one. I don't know, I'm still on the fence. Like, do I like it or not? I, it's very different. It's very outstanding. I was telling Chris, it kind of looks like a, a junkyard type thing where the pillars there, like it, it's kind of like, it's not the same on each side and it's all different. It's, I think it's still cool, but yeah, it just kind of reminds me of like a Star Wars type of setting going on there with all the gears and the clock and the prints. And yeah, by the way, it's all prints. There's no stickers. Woohoo! So kudos for them for making all these prints. So it's all tiled on the front. You got little tiny flower beds on each side. This side has a bench and a tree. The tree was really the only thing that fell apart bringing it to the office. You still have to be very careful how you carry this thing because the levels on each floor split into two. You gotta be careful, man. Wait till I drop this thing. It's gonna fly all over the place. We move along. You got the staircase that goes into the building. And on this side, you got a bicycle, trash can. And look at that light, man. The light pole is actually pretty cool. I like putting that together and the little flags, the galaxy hanging down. It's a nice entrance, actually, when it's cropped like that. And you can kind of see some dinosaurs on the inside. We'll take a look at those more closely. But boy, the dinosaurs, especially the Triceratops, I'll get to that in a minute, but my Triceratops is not complete because I didn't like the way he used the clips to clip into each other. So in the middle area here, you got the little awning part right there. I like the clock. I thought the clock was cool. Space and dinosaurs. And it's really funky how you build all that together. It gets really flimsy when you're putting the set together. Thankfully, once everything clamps in, it's a little bit more secure, but this rooftop is a little bit loose. It might fall off on you. That and the tree are the two loose pieces on the set. And the blue windows, is that something you guys like? Is that too much for you? It might be too much for some of you. I can totally understand. For me, I'm like, it's so refreshing and different to do that I actually don't mind that for a change. So I'm pretty okay with it. And finally on the upper, on the last floor, I had so much fun putting the museum words together. Those are all just pieces. You build the words and you know, I love that 3D look. And the rooftop piece was actually super secure. I like the look of that. I thought that was really cool, man. See, like that, that looks really good. I like that, very nice. 
Now let's look at the side. Oh, it can only go like that. That's the only part. That should be a very easy fix, but that's the only part right there. There you go, there's the side, just the brick walls, but yeah, all very flimsy if you try to push down on it. So don't be pushing on the set. It will just break in, you'll break into the walls right there. And then flip it to the back here. There's nothing there. Just lots of, lots of bricks on the side here. Yeah, at least it's all bricked out. It's not like big panels that's covering the whole thing. So it's, it, it's enjoyable to build for the most part. Okay, now it's time to take the whole thing apart. You gotta start from the top in order to get to the bottom. It's very dangerous to lift it from the bottom because I'll show you why. So we take off the rooftop first, which comes off, everything comes off really easy. Put that there. And then you take off this side here. Now, because it's a space museum at the same time, there is a rocket in here, which is really cool because the rocket goes through all the floors. But you have to be careful when you lift up this side because it kind of protrudes out. Put this here, but you can see this part very loose. Watch out for that. And then same thing here, if I go like that, take these out here, see everything splits apart, which is why you should not try to pick it up here. And then you come to the very bottom part, which is very similar to the Sanctum Sanctorum style. We'll take this out here. And then it's all opened up here. So I go like that. And there you go. That's what it looks like naked with no back, no wall. Oh, there goes the T-Rex. All right, so when you walk inside this first floor, you come through the doors, it's all tiled, great. You got these two really nice displays, okay? Well, one of them is really nice. I love the T-Rex. The T-Rex was so fun to put together. Where it starts getting a little bit crazy is the Triceratops head. He actually is missing a lot more pieces because the way they designed it, or the way it's put together, is you're clipping the arms together, but they don't, they're not supposed to snap in like that. They just pop off. It kept popping off on me. I'm like, I'm just gonna leave it. You can still tell it's a Triceratops head, so I'm happy with that. But that's it, that's it for the dinosaurs. After that, it's all space. So that's why I'm like, I wish maybe this could have been space as well, or all dinosaurs. It's nice, you can actually get your hands in there. They do have some display cabinets. There's not a lot going on, but interesting. On the left-hand side, some plants. I'm not sure why that's so important to have plants here. And then next to that, you got like fossil, more fossil display. There's nothing really in that. The back wall has a big frame there, but there's nothing there. And in the middle of the room, there's another display there, more fossil pieces. You gotta use your imagination, man. You're just looking at dinosaurs. And then it looks like a microscope in the middle or like a little area that you can get your information about the dinosaurs. And then you got the staircase that goes up to the second floor. So just before you get to the second floor, you got the little pterodactyl here. He will fall off on this part, but it's easy to put back on. And you can kind of pre-adjust him and move him out of the way if you want to. So it's not too bad, but same deal. Look, because the horn is just clipped in like that. I'm not a fan of that too much, I'm sorry. Then we come to the second floor, which is the staircase piece here, which is connected here. And once I did the Triceratops and I started doing this second floor, I started to get a little bit disappointed. I was like, oh, it's not fun. It's getting more frustrating to put together. And I'll tell you why. First of all, it uses these rubber pipes. They want you to cut them. And I cut it one-to-one -to, -one to the book and it didn't quite match. And you can see a little bit of gap there. And they just kept popping off these parts, it was getting actually pretty frustrating, man. I was like, dude, this is, I'm getting fed up with this thing. I just wanted to pull those off and not even use them. And I got most of them correct now, but some of them were cut too short and I had to move them around and kind of bend them a little bit. Or well, maybe you can do a better job than me. I mean, I like the idea that he was going for. And then it's all tiled there. The colors are a little bit much to me, the orange and the yellow, it's a bit bright and crazy. You got more printed pieces along the wall, which is really cool. I like the printed pieces, like all the chemistry, like data information. You got another display case here with more fossils, it looks like. So still maybe the dinosaur theme, DNA looking printed pieces there. In the corner, you got a plant that uses a car wash brush, which is actually a pretty neat idea. Now, if you look at the staircase right there, I'm missing the pole, man. I, I don't know where it is, but I've got like a million poles in the office, but the reality is you might have a missing piece here and there. Happens all the time. If you order from us, we can source it. On the side is a little plant and another cabinet with very simple pieces to make up what I've been saying, fossils. I think it's fossils, man. And all the little red circle studs that you see like pushed into the wall is actually just for the lights to wrap around. You don't even have to put those there. Take them away. They look like little alarms. Ring the alarm. Other than that, it is a pretty small 
floor since it was all opened up for the pterodactyl. This floor is actually pretty secure, except for the plant that might pop off there. But it's just the rubber pieces that was throwing me off. I was like, oh, so irritating. Triceratops, the rubber pieces, and that side wall. I was like, come on, it's got to get better. It's got to get better. And what do you know, man? After this, we go up to the next floor, and it does get better. The staircase comes up to here. We don't even have to put the other floors on yet. You can come up to this area here. And it's pretty cool, man. I like the telescope there. And it's all tiled. It's connected to this exterior part. But these parts right here, I was telling Chris, these can come off really easy because there's nothing like locking them in. There's nothing holding it down. So when you're putting the floors on, it might, might pop off on you. Some sacrifice there. But I like this floor for being so tiny or this section, you know. You got some blackboards there with more notes. We're starting to dive into the base section of this theme. You got a flower here in the corner, a little display thingy. I don't know what that is, but let's see what the connecting rooms are for this floor. So this is what it would look like if it was fitted in. There's your space theme. This was a lot of fun. I'm like Chris, man, it's really good, right? It's like total space. You can tell that's a rocket, right? And you can tell like this is the the lunar lander. I sure hope got that right. But you would come up the staircase here. It's all tiled there. And individually, each floor is super secure. It's like a little diorama. So if you don't even want to build the set and you just want to have like little dioramas, like put it, display it like this. I'm, I love this kind of stuff. If I were to put this on a store and be like, look, lunar lander and have a couple of space minifigures there and one here. This is the rocket room available. Pick me up Scotty individually. I would buy it. I'd be like, yeah, that's pretty cool, man. More printed tile pieces along the wall. The time. What is that print? Oh, it's just like a computer thing there. More design there on the back wall. You know, it's very plain right there, but it looks like space sci-fi-ish to me. And I really like this. I thought this was actually really cool, man. That was fun to put together. And yeah, I'm glad he kept it all tiled. Very nice, man. No issues here on these parts. Totally fine. Nothing underneath the staircase is all hollow down there. Oh, I like this, man. Then we come over here, which is the rocket room. You know, this is printed, it's nice, but it is a little bit cartoony to me. I would have been cool if it was more realistic, but you know, I don't know, Yellow Box, did you design that or was that done by them? Probably done by them. But I love the rocket. I thought that was really cool, man, the Saturn. I was gonna buy the Saturn for the legit one, but it's kind of big, right? And then you gotta buy the, the stand for it and stuff, the mock. It's all fenced off there. And there's a little back room behind it. The back room, it looks just like, um, maybe it's a lab, yeah? The chemistry, you got beakers there in the corner of the wall, a little stud there to put your figure, which is really good, by the way. Each room has a little stud that you can put a figure. Thank you. I just want to put some characters and stand them in there. Got a little counter there along the back wall that looks like it has a drink there. So it looks like a little, little catering and chemistry area, a little telephone hanging on the wall. Sweet. I like this. If I were to pull this back out and we put it here and match the staircase up to here, line this up, it lines up okay. Everything's snapping in nicely. And you go like that and you go like this. Make sure everything is pushed in flat. Then we come up to the last floor, which is this one and this one. It would just kind of, you know, it has a hole right there. Make sure it fit the rocket just nice. Right, Chris? Yes. It's got to fit in there. This one goes here like that. And so if I were to take them off and show it to you individually, it would be something like that, which we saw the outside already. If I split it up and go bang like that, there you go. And you can already see like a oh, lot, 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 lot of detail. You know what though? The two rooms together makes the room feel a lot more full. It actually looks really good like this. It looks like it's one when it's together. Separated, they look a little bit more individual or plain. So we start where we come up the staircase, which would be this room right here. This is more like a chill area. You got a couch there, the rink on it. It's all tiled again, thank you. Plant there by the window. You can relax, sit on the couch and look at what is this? I don't know, it's like a special diamond or something. Chris is trying to figure it out too. Chris, what is that, man? We don't know what that is. UFO, maybe it's supposed to be a UFO? Oh yeah, maybe it's a UFO, man. I'm guessing that's a UFO. 
I'm really stupid with these things, man. You guys correct me and make me look bad, but that's fine. That's, that's what I like. On along the back wall there, you got a satellite, more display pieces, what they've found in space or something like that. And then it connects you this room, which is more plain because the rocket head from the other room will pop up and protrude out of that. Actually, I'll show that to you in a second. A couple more plants in the corner and you got an astronaut or a figure with no arms. I wish they had arms, but it, that's the way it's built, man. And the back wall there is like the, the planets. That was actually pretty cool. And I like the fact that when you put this together here, see if I can link it up this way, slap that sucker on like that and go, ah, oh, so satisfying. That is really, really cool. And the crazy thing is the last floor, which is the rooftop, has a hatch so that rocket can fly through the hatch, yo. It's actually pretty exciting to see the inside more than the outside for this set. So, I'm gonna make sure I put it all in the right way. This here. Okay, the rocket goes here. Oh, and by the way, kind of took that off, but you can bring the rocket out if you wanted to. So you can totally play with the rocket. Yeah, your kids can play with the set. Make sure it locks into here. It locks into here, once again. This part can definitely fall out, unfortunately. There. Okay, and then finally the rooftop piece. All right, the rooftop was super secure. I had so much fun putting this together. Nothing fell apart on me on this. It is a bit plain on the top, but check that out, man. There's the hatch for the rocket to come out of. The rocket can shoot out from the set. That's really cool, man. I was like, yo, I love the idea. So good. It's all tiled too. How about that? You got little items there in the corner, like gas tanks and knobs. I don't even know what this is. Oh, it's like a vent right there. That's pretty cool how they did that. And you got a little hatch here where you can come out of and go, oh, I can come out of there. There you go. It is on multiple plates there. But guess what? Yeah, this thing is secure, man. So if I were to put this back on, and this is where it gets a little bit funky. So you can see it's like, uh, so you got everything has to line up like really perfectly. So the, you can see how that kind of, sticks out so when you're trying to put the rooftop back on if you really want it to match perfectly you have to like kind of make sure it's all insecure and flat sometimes you might not match it up perfectly i'm going to see if i can reach inside here and pull out the rocket from the inside might not take the whole rocket out but you get the idea so you go take off oh no just half a rocket you gotta pull the other half out but you know it'll fit through there how cool is that go back in oh i can't reach it anymore do i get it in my fingers are cramping up ouch oh my fingers are stuck man oh so now it is time for dimensions it does not connect to another modular because there's no technic ping sticking out there i mean you can probably do that by yourself do you guys really connect all these buildings up together like really tight i don't i never done it it is on a 32 by 32 plate break out your one by four bricks so we can check the height of this this is the highest point here I got my bricks all ready. We're gonna put it right here. It's it's pretty close to there. You know, probably be maybe a little bit shorter. Yeah, we'll just go like that. That's pretty close to 39 bricks in height. That's pretty tall. Will it go well with your city? The bigger question is, will this drop really well? We're about to find out. All right, we're at the end of the video. I forgot to show you the big light, but here it is. It's just a regular big light. It's the same one with all the Mork sets, all right? And I'll see if I can untangle this thing as fast as I can. Get this thing done. There, nice long wire, which has got tangled up again. Now, I guess you feed this through the hatch here. And then inside the set, there's like little red studs that you can see inside. And you just follow the back of the manual and it'll tell you like, oh, you need to kind of wrap it around this stud and wrap it around that stud. Here, let's just see if I can just do this quickly as possible. It's supposed to be able to go like all the way down. This is very, very random, man. There we go. Pull the tab, turn on the light, drop it like that, close the hatch. If you don't mind, Chris, to turn off all the lights. Can you see it? Does it look pretty? Is it pretty well lit? Uh, hey man, that's actually pretty well lit up, right? That's better than uh, the book nook, which I reviewed, but I haven't put up that one yet. But anyway, this light is pretty bright, man. Look at that. Just like that, man, this is what I like. Just drop it in there. Don't even wrap it around anything and it'll look perfectly fine. 
So it's a pretty strong brick light. Gotta give them that. Now we're gonna switch on the lights and we're gonna drop this thing. So everyone say a little prayer by the campfire. Here we go. Okay, this son of a bitch is gonna go to outer space when I do this. One, two, three. Whoa! Hey, that wasn't bad at all, man. The, the usual rooftop fell off that we all knew about. The tree, the clock. This survived, man. I'm so happy. Nothing moved in the inside. Yo, that's crazy, man. Okay, so the rocket fell apart. Here, a couple of the walls fell off. The triceratops is still intact. The pterodactyl flipped off. But other than that, if I flip it here to the side, just move this light out of the way. Just wrapping around everything. Not too bad, man. I gotta admit that, not too bad. Whew, yes. All right, Science Museum. Thank goodness it is not a coffee shop. Right, Chris? Yes. <laughs> it's always like a coffee shop or something, right? Anyway, a bit extreme, might be for some of you, but do definitely get it if you wanna support Yellow Box 777. I sure hope you make a lot more sets. I cannot wait. This one was a lot of fun. Not quite perfect, but easy fixes. You know, you guys probably did a better job than I did. And anyway, this is available on my store. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I shall be back with even more. Until next time, you guys, break me out.